this is into the fire. I'd like to welcome the absolute ball magnet, the young mid from SA, the talented young rooster, Hugh Jackson. My, nice to meet you, Hugh. G'day, Liam. How are you? Good. How are you? Well, Hugh, I'm bad, going to... thanks. Well, Hugh, I'm going to start off with saying I check your stats and holy hell, you must take your own footy to the game. You have had more touches than Tom Mitchell a game. Pretty decent start to this year, this mate. This year, mate. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, been pretty fortunate with the ball lately, so hopefully I can keep racking it up. I don't know about fortunate, probably more skill. <laughs> it says on the North Adelaide website that you're working on your contested ball. Geez, you average 33 disposals a game. Now you get that and you might crack 50. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely uh, working on my inside game this year and it's starting to pay off, so really loving it so far. Yeah, it is. Now, you're a classy midfielder who has great run and carry. If I was a talent scout, what would you tell me about why you will make a great fit in the AFL? Oh, I just read the ball beautifully. Uh, obviously got a pretty good kick and, uh, yeah, I just love to use my skills up at the higher levels. Yeah, nice. Now, you're a Ross Trevor boy, following in the footsteps of players like Ben Hart, Darcy Fogarty, Tom Jonas, and one of my main men, Cameron Tahini. It's a great college. What has it been like playing for such a prestigious footy school? Uh, yeah, I love Rossi. Um, they're a very uh, dominant school, I reckon. Um, yeah, my year was, I met a, like, heaps of good mates there and uh, just the footy, brilliant. And um, yeah, I was, I was a boarder there. So I had to meet a new like, faces from the Air Peninsula and heaps of new mates through the footy and cricket programs there. And yeah, I just loved my experience there, especially Cam Tahini. I was in his care group. so. I'm pretty close with him and obviously them boys that you spoke about are very good like sports persons as well. So very good. Cam's a legend. Now you're a, <laughs> a left footer and my sources tell me that you hit targets better than Robin Hood with his arrows. Do you pride yourself on this area <laughs> of the game? Because seriously, your ability to get it coupled with your lethal leg, it's amazing. I'm starting to sound like your manager, aren't I? <laughs> yes, I reckon you'd be a very good manager there, Liam. Um, oh, yeah. Look, I'm pretty lucky with how I've just been brought up using my left foot and hopefully I can start using my right the same way. Hopefully. So, serious question here. You're playing so well. Is there any talk of you heading up and playing against the bigger body soon? I mean, you'll win the medal already, even if you stop now. <laughs> Oh, look, uh, Serge gave me a challenge in round two to get 10 tackles and I made 10 tackles. So, no, nah, me and Serge are good mates. And look, if I keep training hard I'd, and play well, well, I might be able to get in a run. So, see how we go. Yeah. Now, they say you have excellent vision. Did you play any other sports growing up that may have helped in this area or has it always been the footy? Oh, pretty well footy. Um, I've played heaps of sports, basketball, like cricket, pretty into my cricket as well. And yeah, tennis, early stages, but pretty much all well footy. So, Did you play for a club for those sports or just kind of backyard? Oh, just back home at Crystal Brook, really. And then, yeah, down at Rossi, I played cricket and football there. So, yeah. Yeah, not too bad. You're in the SA Talent Hub. How has that been rubbing shoulders with SA's best at this age? Yeah, I was pretty fortunate to be selected into the talent hub and obviously there with some of my mates, it's been really good. Um, yeah, the, the uh, coaching staff there, always like keen to give you tips and stuff and lots to gather and bring into like the younger under 18s with all the young fellas, like bring to them. And yeah, I've just learned so much being in there. So I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, it sounds like a good experience. Apart from my man, Blaine O'Loughlin, I know he'll be a star. <laughs> But who else from North should we keep an eye on? Well, there's a few few boys and a few up and coming talents. Um, but definitely Isaac Keeler. If you I mean, you probably know of him, but um, yeah, he's a he's a superstar to watch, and I love playing with him. So he's a good lad. Yeah, he definitely is. Now, with the draft fast approaching, what are your goals for 2021 besides being drafted, of course? Uh, as you said, uh, hopefully play a bigger body league game or reserves. And, yeah, just basically continue landscaping. Like, I'm really enjoying it. And hopefully, like, hopefully become a team leader that's, like, is the next rank of mine. And, yeah, hopefully 
winning a grand final with North Adelaide because we're looking pretty good at the moment. You are. Do you read much into the draft or listen to the draft media much? Oh, not really. Some of my mates tell me my mum's pretty hot on all covers all of that stuff. So yeah, I don't have to worry. Okay, let's find out a bit about your footy. What's your best attribute? Oh, definitely my kicking and vision. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. My, main, main, yeah, mainly my two. Yeah, and handballing. I like to handball a fair bit. So. Ooh, yeah. Nice. What's your favourite thing about footy? Oh, just the sportsmanship. I love just running out there with your best mates and. You know, kicking goals and celebrating, it's the best feeling in the world. So, yeah, especially winning games, that's even better, like, on the weekend. Yeah. What is your best footy moment up to this day? Oh, I've had heaps. Uh, obviously, uh, winning some Rossi games. Obviously, we didn't, like, get go, go as far as we wanted. Like, we lost to Sacred Heart in our intercol. And, uh, oh, I'm not too sure. Grand finals, I've played in a few grand finals back home, but um, I've lost them all, so I haven't won a grand final yet. So hopefully that memory will be this year. Ever kicked a sneaky goal after the siren? <laughs> no, no, I haven't. I've kicked yeah. I've kicked a bag. I've kicked seven goals against Scotch a couple of years ago. That was that was a pretty big highlight for me, but um, oh, I just like winning, really. So, yeah, hopefully a grand final this year. That'd be good. Yeah, it would. What made you start footy? Oh, just our whole family have loved footy ever since we was little. And, yeah, just the Crystal Brook community always asking, oh, come out for a kick, come out for a kick. So, yeah, you just end up going out there and having the time of your life. So, go from there. Yeah, it's a great game. All right, let's have a couple of non-sporting questions. If you had right. to play a different sport, what would it be? Uh, basketball. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a I'm a heavy basketball supporter. I love love watching basketball and playing basketball, even though I'm pretty short and probably not very good. I just I love watching it. So pretty much same with me. <laughs> Favorite pastime activity. Oh I like just, you know, watching movies. Me and my girlfriend like watching movies. Um like surfing a fair bit, you know, cricket, backyard cricket. Fishing, I love fishing. Me and my mate always go fishing. Uh, oh, yeah, there's wakeboarding, kneeboarding, you know, water skiing. Yeah. That's pretty fun. Um, yeah, gardening. I like gardening because I'm a landscaper, I better say that. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> uh, like you have a Yeah. <laughs> Number one sports person you'd have around for drinks? Um, the Bont, I reckon. Yeah, that'd be I cool. reckon he'd, he'd be a good chat, I reckon. You would. What would you have as a last meal? Oh, probably a nice steak. What yeah. do you reckon? That's pretty much up there. I would say pasta, but that's up yeah, there. Yeah, that's all right. Or, or chicken snitty. Yeah, chicken snitty. That's good as well. Chicken and gravy, yeah. Number one destination when COVID disappears. Oh, uh, do you know Noosa up in Queensland? I think I've heard about it, yeah. Yeah, very nice spot up there. Um, yeah, I'd love to take my family up there and just probably just chill by the beach for a bit. Beautiful weather up there, so that'd be good. Sounds good. Well, Hugh, you're a star in the making. No one finds a footy better. And the fact you're elite when you have it makes you a great player to watch. But it's time you turn that name of yours into what it almost sounds like, Hugh Jackman. You see, I want <laughs> you to become the greatest showman. You, all, you almost have it all. But, mate, the crowd is what the show is about. And they need to be a wowed. So when you kick that goal, give them the best celebration in the business. The end of the fire. Very cool, Liam. Like Hopefully I'll do it on the weekend. Love it. Give Looking it good. Quick try together. Nice. Oh, I like this. Nice. That's the way. Yes. Yeah. It has been amazing to chat to you today, Hugh. You're a great talent. Keep owning that ball, buddy. And I can't wait to see where you end up at the year's end. Thanks, mate. Thank you very much, Liam. Cheers for having me. Thank you, Hugh.